we about to fix all of that okay because my name is Kayla and I hoard clothes I have too much I have clothes under the bed I have clothes in my ottoman I have clothes everywhere in this closet and baskets at the top like let's just organize my closet okay let's do this <laughs> another video today's vlog is going to be a organize my closet with me vlog because like i said i have way too much stuff in here and some things i'm actually going to get rid of some things will be made in a stash to go to a shelter that's down the street from where i live and then i'm going to also sell some things on my poshmark so make sure you guys follow me on poshmark i will leave that's in the description box down below which i already think i have the link down there but i sell a lot of my gently used clothing anything that i pretty much take a picture in or like i've worn at least max three times i will sell on my poshmark especially if they're still super trendy cute pieces just for you guys to enjoy so um yeah so i'm gonna be showing you guys just little tips and tricks because honestly i really did have my closet pretty organized before um like I said, it's just a lot of stuff in here and I want my closet to be very functional. And so for me, my way of giving gratitude back out to the universe and to the Lord is that I'm really thankful to be living in a really nice college apartment with a walk-in closet, especially with being out of state. Um, I was always the type of a student who like traveled back and forth and take some clothes home and then bring some back like that. So I'm thankful to be able to hold them in my closet. I just don't have enough room anymore because I also have clothes on the bed. So. Um, I have it pretty set up to where it's color coded right now. So let me take you guys inside so you can kind of see. So it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, <laughs> it goes all the way up. Just so you guys can see the bottom and let me kind of zoom out a bit. My shoes are down there. So in my 4x4 college apartment, I actually have like the smallest walk-in closet in my opinion now one of my roommates has like the two double sliding door um closet let me lower my tripod real quick okay boom we're back in action so yeah like i was saying um my other two roommates they have like a deeper walk-in closet so mine is a little short and stubby but again still a lot of great room in here so like i was saying i do kind of have mine color coded and i will kind of keep that same idea or theme going on i just want to go through and purge some things because some things i just know i'm not going to wear anymore also my purses it goes all the way around which i'll show you the other side i want to reorganize those as well because i did go on a trip like a month ago and it got to the point where I was just kind of, you know, picking my outfits and then I ended up messing up everything. And then in the baskets at the top, I have folded clothes, like just things that couldn't fit on hangers or fit in my closet. Also on this side, same thing. Now, I got some tips from Pinterest and other YouTube videos of like, you know, how to make your closet a little bit more functional and put more things in it. So I wanted to fold clothes up on this shelf that's right here, but I wanted more like shelving and because i mean obviously i don't have these in between shelving like i want i got these little hampers now these are like really supposed to be for babies like for diapers and everything but you know it looks very messy right now because originally i did have my two-piece sets kind of folded in here crop tops and short little tank tops in here as well i'm going to show you guys how i you know put multiple things on certain types of hangers got some extra hangers laying around then boom on the other side inside of the closet just to show you guys from the top this is what i mean by it goes all the way around so i'm also going to color code my purses as well but in my apartment we didn't really have a um linen closet in our room so i guess like this shelf that's built in the closet is meant for that so i just keep my towels and washcloths up there it looks very messy again i'm going to reorganize everything and i have so many pairs of jeans y'all so I decided to, instead of stuffing them in this um, dresser, for some reason, I've overstuffed it, as you can see, even at the bottom. It got to the point where my dresser would lean over and collapse, like everything would fall out because it was just too heavy. And boom. So yeah, I'm going to refold and get rid of a lot of denim as well. And then just over, oops, <laughs> 
over my door, you know, purses, hats, all that type of stuff. I'm gonna reorganize that as well. So, yeah, y'all, let's get into it. To keep it all the way real, y'all, I think the hardest part is knowing where to start. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with the top and work my way to the bottom. So I'm gonna take these baskets down and see what's in it. One of them has hair stuff in it, but I know for a fact that these baskets have clothes in it. So I'm gonna take those down. And I'm so short, y'all. All right, so now that I have some of my items down from the closet, what I'm going to do is just go through these baskets and see what all in here I would actually still wear or whatever I need to like sell. So everything I'm probably gonna put on my Poshmark, what I'll do is put that on my clothing rack that you guys see in my little hauls because then I will take pictures of those later and list them on my Poshmark. So like this long jumpsuit, I remember trying it on and it being like a little too big for me. So I'm going to sell this on Poshmark. Because I'm a tall ladies. I'm sure you guys will love that. So like I said, if you guys have a sister or you, your mama, your cousin, co-worker, friend, want to shop for my Poshmark, get in that link, y'all. See, this is the hard part. When I start thinking about, you know, fits that I would wear, like honestly, I'm going to keep this. So I'm going to put it on the bed right now. I'm taking a picture in this, but I still feel like I can get maybe one use out of this and keep this. Like I said, the hard part is really um, telling myself if I should keep something or not, okay? These were too big. So I'm actually, you know what? Poshmark. Denim, I have a lot of denim, so honestly, I don't really care too much for these. They're not like heavy on my heart, so get rid of that. Have this velour skirt. This is giving me very winter, so I'm gonna have to put this in my winter stash. Oh, this is a dress. so many denim dresses like this though that's the thing i'm still gonna get one more use out of that so that's empty so we're gonna save this for you know storage later when i get ready to um put things back up this is giving fall vibes so that needs to go in like the winter stuff I love this dress. I will be wearing this dress. <laughs> I'm just trying to be realistic with myself, you know? Like, I feel I'm going to wear this. I just need the shoes, you know? Sometimes it's like certain pieces, I just need an excuse to wear them, you know? Like, so now I know I need to get shoes to actually wear that dress because I'm going to wear that dress. All right, you guys, the time is 11.02. I took like a little two-hour break to eat. Um, actually like go pick up my food and eat, but I did make a lot of progress. I did purge a lot of things. So I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and show you exactly what I did. All right. So you guys know I took down the, um, basket. So I put that one back up because everything that's either not in season that couldn't fit under the bed, I put in there or that was just, I didn't really want to hang up. I put back in there, but I'm still going to keep it. So right here, I ended up, uh, basically reorganizing all of this and folding it up pretty nicely these are just crop tops graphic tees tank tops and then in this section i have my two-piece outfits you can't really see because like a lot of things are actually black but um i have a whole row up there that is completely empty because i kind of purged a lot of stuff and yeah so I'm going to show you guys how I ended up folding these items, okay? So, for example, let's just say I pull out this set, right? 
Okay, so as I take the set out, this is a skirt and tank top set. So the way I folded my two piece sets in that little column was I take the bottom and I take the top and I place the top inside the bottom. And I just simply fold like that. So that way when I store it in the two piece area, all I have to do is just pull it out and I know I'm getting the entire set in that one pull. So I like the idea of that. It keeps me pretty organized. Okay, you guys, and I also forgot to mention another tool that I like to use in my closet, which are these space-saving hangers, which I used right over in this section of the closet. So, for example, we have the white section first. Like I said, you guys, I pretty much kept it color-coded, and I like that because it makes it a little bit more functional for me to kind of see where everything is. But I love these space-saving hangers because they literally have a slot of one, two, three, four, five for five items to be hanging on one hanger. Now, believe it or not, if I didn't use the space saving hangers, I don't think I would fit all these clothes on this one row. So that's why I really, really love it. And I bought these off Amazon, which I will link in the description box down below because they came in a pack of 10 or 12, I believe. And I bought two. So I have one space saving hanger in each section with a certain color, just to, you know, kind of put five items on each one per section. But yeah. So, me being me, I decided to pretty much save the rest for tomorrow. I'm going to do my purses and, you know, work on the other side. But I also wanted to show y'all that I did kind of rearrange this area. So, they're still kind of, I mean, they're still pretty much color-coded. But I did get rid of a lot of stuff. Which is right here. So, basically, all of this is going to be sold on my Poshmark and some bottoms down there but of course I'm gonna wash everything first and then I have like a small little section right here that I folded up I'm gonna give this uh, these items to shelter just things that I've pretty much worn a bazillion jillion times and just needs to get rid of okay so yeah also for uh, folded up some more stuff in here I'm gonna put that back up in the closet this as well and these were just items that were also in my two-piece area, but they are like winter fall. So I'm going to hang that or put it back up in the closet. And then last but not least, the denim area. So like I said, right here is where I have my towels or just, you know, my towels and washcloths folded. I refolded them nicely. Put that back up there now all my denim is right here now i did get rid of a lot of denim too which will be sold on my poshmark as well so the way i folded it was just kind of like so i can see how the design or how the jean is made so like for example this one is like two different tone jeans and um i kind of did it with like these are like mid wash jeans and light wash and then i have like my super dark denim and then these are like what i call my specialty jeans they have jewels or you know any types of embellishments on them got some cargo jeans and like flare jeans i put those all down there so just i like this way better because it's just a little bit more functional i feel like i can see exactly what i'm getting and then i put all my skirts in denim skirts regular skirts and denim shorts in here so yeah i'm gonna do shoes and everything tomorrow and all my purses because i have class starting tomorrow and i got tired so Alright, now I'm going to purge some purses and reorganize all my purses on these two rows and color coordinate them. So first up, I always just take everything down.
all right you guys not gonna lie it's definitely been like a good two to three days but i wanted to give you guys an update and i finally completed my closet so just to give you guys another tour remember these were definitely messy now i have them just a little bit neater Especially my two-piece outfit side. I showed you guys how I can just pull them out and just have the outfit and ready to go. In here, I have little hats and scarves. Up there is like nail stuff. Um, a lot of those are still kind of empty. Um, usually because I put winter stuff up there. But now I have all my winter stuff under the bed and other uh, bins. But I do still have like some jumpsuits and dresses up there. But for the most part, all the clothes that are like my go-to down here um a lot of these i haven't even worn yet because it was like you know my closet was so messy i didn't even realize i had it but yeah i'm super excited so just to show you guys again in each color section i have the little space saving hangers with at least five items of that specific color on there Let's see we got the orange got the white now over here behind the door just have like my little towels and stuff jeans i purged a lot of jeans y'all so definitely stay tuned for my shop my closet because i'm uploading a few on there and then still have my scarves out um i have my shades up here this honestly needs to go up with the purses but i just leave it out since it's a clutch put some of my necklaces on here i love this thing it's so cute still have my jewelry in there a lot of my little like statement piece earrings i have in these two pouches still have a lot of excess hangers which is great because now that to me that just means i can buy more stuff <laughs> or accumulate more stuff so put my purses kind of like in a color coordinated order and moving to the back of the door i went through and organized this a little bit better it's, it, it honestly could be better but you know this is the best it's gonna get i have a lot of hats as you can see so i put the hats up there georgia girl fam you got my basketball purses um my fanny packs these are pretty much like the purses that were like you know little backpacks or crossbodies or fanny packs that i put behind here and then i kind of went through and purged some belts now the belts that i purged were like kind of bad shape so i got rid of them but these are the belts that are here to stay but yeah you guys i am very pleased with how the closet turned out now let me show you how much is about to be sold on my shop my closet okay so these are all the items I'm about to take pictures in to upload. Yes, I'm going to get rid of a few shoes. Lots of skirts, jeans. I think I have a pair of shorts in there. Some of these items you probably saw me take one picture in and I was done with them. These are very gently used items, you guys. I do have a few purses up there as well. But yeah. So, boom, a lot more from here to come. And this is a wash and go, you guys. I ended up filming this this week as well. Can't believe my curls can turn out like this. It's insane, so stay tuned for that video. But, yes, I'm going to insert a few pictures once I, you know, start uploading for Shop My Closet again. My Poshmark is the OK Kayla, which will be linked in the description box down below for you guys to shop from. Tell your mom, your sister, your co-worker, anybody that can wear my size. Here are a few things for you to shop from. But yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next vlog. Bye.